all right welcome to the channel i'm so excited to welcome you to the first episode of better and leading you in the year 2021 so glad to have you i believe you have started your year very well we bless god for that you see it's important we ask ourselves certain crucial questions about our past why it is not good to carry on the baggage of the past in the present, it is also not good to leave the past unresolved. And so our goal in this video is to ask that crucial question. Why did you fail in the year 2020? We are in the new year and so it could be convenient for us to just forget about the past, to forget about 2020 and then come into the new year. Why we could do that, there is this chance of us repeating certain actions, certain inactions that didn't help us in the last year, in the new year. That is why we have to be confronted with these issues so that we can become a better and a leading people. If you want to help yourself in the new year, you must confront yourself with that reality. Why did I fail in the year 2020? Because if you can know why you failed in 2020, you can know how not to fail in the year 2021. So the first question we want to consider is, did you actually fail in the year 2020? I've actually realized that most people give excuses for their failures. When people make mistakes, they give reasons why they make mistakes. They say, I made a mistake, I failed because the presidency didn't favor me. I failed because the society didn't help me. I failed because of COVID-19. Now, why you could have all manner of excuses for your failure? It's important that you actually ask that question and you give yourself the right answer. Did I fail in the year 2020? And so if you failed in the year 2020, the next question you must ask yourself is, how did I fail? What are the actions and the inactions that culminated into my failure, that led me into failure or into my mistakes? You see, if I can know how I failed, then I can know how not to fail in the new year. So what are the things that you saw about yourself and you believe was responsible for your failure in the last year? There's an interesting story I'd like to share with you in the Bible. It's in the book of 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 6. The area that I really want to dwell on. If you understand the story, Elisha went with a group of certain sons of the prophet. They were like students in the prophetic ministry under Elisha. They went to cut down certain trees. Now, they actually borrowed the tool that they used. So, why doing it? The head of their axe actually fell into the stream of water. They cried to the man of God that what they borrowed has actually fallen. And so the man of God asked them that crucial question. Where did they fall? You see, the question is interesting for us simply because we are considering how did you fail in the year 2020? You see, how you failed is similar to where did an object fall? Because what the man of God actually did was that he caught something and he threw it in the exact area the axe fell. And so if you want to know how not to fall in the year 2021, you must know how you fell in the year 2020. You must confront yourself with that reality. I may not know it, but you do. You must be able to sit down and ask yourself that question. How did I fail? Did I fail because I didn't have enough plan? Or did I even fail because I planned too much? Did I fail because of fear? Or did I fail because I took things for granted? I was too bold. You must know how you failed so that you can know the variables to alter if you must have a new experience. You know, it has been said, if you do the same thing the same way, you are likely going to get the same result. And so if you desire change, then you must change the process that must culminate, that must result into the change that you desire. So the last question I want us to look at as we look at why you failed in the year 2020 is that how many times did you fail? You see, it's important you also know how many times you failed. You could have told yourself, I'm a failure. I failed so many times in 2020, but it's important you actually confront yourself with that reality. How many times did I actually fail? 
You see, you could assume that you failed so much that you cannot count in 2020. But in reality, you actually failed a few times. So it's important you know how many times you failed so that you don't even judge yourself too hard. You see, you cannot continue to tell yourself, you see, every time I do this, I just fail. No, it's not every time you do it that you fail. It is sometimes when you do it, you fail. When most people conduct a research, they get so few samples and so they generalize with a few sample. Because something happened to you a couple of times does not mean it happens to you every time. You must ask yourself that important question. How many times did I fail? So that you even have peace of mind and you will not be too hard on yourself. I believe very strongly that you actually did not fail too many times in the year 2020. Of course, you could have failed a couple of times. It could be because of many reasons. It may be because you didn't prepare enough. It may be because you actually planned too much. It could be because you actually entertained fear in your heart. It could be because you were distracted. It could be because you were not disciplined. There could be many reasons why you failed in the year 2020. But don't forget, you didn't fail throughout 2020. You didn't fail every day in the year 2020. You recorded some failure and that doesn't also make you a failure. You made mistakes, it doesn't make you a mistake. So it's important you have this in right perspective. Don't go about in the new year telling yourself nothing good can come from my life. You see, something good can come from your life. You could have failed, you are not a failure. You could have made a few mistakes, you are not a mistake. Your mistakes don't define you. You make mistakes, your mistakes don't make you. While looking at these things, I remember the story of Thomas Edison, the one that invented the light bulb. You see, it has been said of him that he actually failed a couple of times, over a thousand times. And when he was asked, the lessons he gathered from that, he said he actually did not see himself failing in those times. He actually saw himself learning how things shouldn't be done. You see, 2020 could have been with a lot of mistakes, with a lot of failures for you. But if you look at it very carefully, you would notice the experiences you gathered in the year 2020 prepares you for the new year 2021. So I want you to have the right perspective. Don't be too hard on yourself. You could have failed in the year 2020. It doesn't mean you will repeat the same things in the year 2021. Let me tell you actually, you have grown, you are growing and your performance, your productivity in the new year will be built on the mistakes of the last year. What do I mean from that? There were a couple of things that you attempted in the year 2020 that you did not approach them in the manner that you should have approached them. Now, learning from your mistakes, I believe you are better prepared to overcome them in the year 2021. And as you do that, I see you becoming a better a leading personality, producing performances beyond the realms of your thoughts. All right, we have come to the end of the video. I believe you have learned something. I want you to like this video, share your comment with me in the comment box below, and also be magnanimous enough to share this video with your friends. I believe they will learn something from it. If you are new in this channel, I want you to subscribe, click the notification bell, so that every time we have a new video, you are notified immediately. Thank you for the gift of your time. Till the next time I bring you another interesting episode on this channel, I want you to be a better and a leading